If you've just been prescribed antidepressants and you're wondering what the difference is, what the effect is gonna be, and if you're taking the right one, this is a video for you. First off, a massive thank you. This channel's grown into like 5,000 subs. Maybe when you're watching this, there's 100,000 subs and I'll, I'll sound crazy, but 5,000 subs is mad. So thanks so much for everyone that takes time to hit like the video, comment, it's amazing. Subscribe is fantastic. It tells YouTube we're doing something fantastic here. And that's like sharing the story. It's also given me a chance to set up a happychange.com. There's a blog, FAQs on there about search really, you know, antidepressants, mindset, anxiety, all that and also some cool merch as well so you can look rad at happychange.com check out the store and if you're watching this listen i won't do this for everyone but type in the code youtube 10 percent off anything that you buy that's just for you just for you selexa lexa pro prozac paxil zoloft the list goes on but how do you know which one is right for you well knowledge is power my friends and School is in session. Let's do some learning. The most common form of antidepressants are SSRIs or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And if you want to know how those work, if you want the kind of in-depth knowledge of what's going on when you take it, there's a whole other video dedicated to that very question. Depending on your source, between one in six and one in 10 individuals take an antidepressant and the vast majority of those will be taking an SSRI. If you're watching this video, that's likely including you. All of those brands I named at the start are all SSRI. So if you're on Prozac, Olaf, Sertraline, Paxil, Cytara, little, little, little. and essentially SSRIs all do the same job. So they make your body more efficient and effective in its use of serotonin. So what's the difference? So the main differences are the half-life, the method of consumption, the dietary considerations, and the effects on your individual body. And we'll get into all of those things. So the half-life. The half-life in science is essentially the amount of time it takes the amount of medication in your body to halve. And that time ranges quite considerably in SSRI medication. A shorter half-life can mean that withdrawal is more of a shock to the system because the chemical change is more rapid. Also, if you're like me and you occasionally forget a dose, it means that you've essentially got less time to recover that dosage before some of the withdrawal effects start to kick in. So you can see there are some benefits there to antidepressants with a longer half-life. Obviously a longer half-life means that the medication is in your system for a longer period of time. So if you are wanting to stop the medication, actually you have a longer journey to take. Starting with the longest half-life, Prozac has a half-life of 144 hours. That means that if you were to take 50 milligrams on a Monday, six days later, you'd still have half of that within your system. Cytolopram and Sertraline both have a 36 hour half-life. It's much shorter than the Prozac half-life. Slightly shorter is Lexapro with a 30 hour half-life. And then with a half-life of 24 hours is Paxil. So why is this useful? Well, if you've previously taken antidepressants and really struggled during like dosage changes or during withdrawal, it might be worth considering that a longer half-life might be an easier transition for your body to make. So clearly Prozac has a longer half-life than any of the others, with Sertraline and Selexa being about a day and a half. Next up, the method of consumption. And actually this matters to lots of people. When I was prescribed sertraline, I didn't really consider the way that I'm gonna take it. I was just like, okay, here's a box of 28 tablets and I'll get some more in 28 days. But some people really struggle to swallow pills and this might be you. The different SSRI medications have different methods of consumption and you can actually address these with your GP, your doctor, whoever prescribed the antidepressants to you in the first place. Prozac is an example of something that can be taken in a liquid form and dropped into the mouth. Some people might really struggle with chalky tablets and prefer like the, the sort of plasticky coated capsules that fully dissolve. And it might be during the course of your first couple of months, you decide that actually I wanna to speak to my GP about different methods of consumption and they would be able to tell you what's available for that specific SSRI and also what's available for that healthcare provider. 
because it might differ depending on your geography. Next up, dietary considerations. Now, I don't mean calories. I mean, if you have a specific diet, such as uh, you're vegan or vegetarian, maybe you're lactose intolerant, you'll have more of an awareness of the medication that you can take. But just as an example, Cytolopram contains lactose and Prozac capsules contain gelatin. So if those things are really important to you, again, make sure that you understand the specific nature of the mode of consumption that you're having. Obviously, say like a Prozac liquid dropped into the mouth is going to circumnavigate that concern over gelatine if, for example, you don't eat or consume animal products. The most difficult part to plan for is your body's reaction. So one of the most commonly asked questions on Facebook is, when will X happen? And actually it differs person to person. Whilst we might normally expect that side effects would last a couple of weeks and medication starts to work in six to eight weeks, actually, the Mayo Clinic produced a report that recognizes that our body's response to any medication has a dependence on inherited traits or our genetic makeup. So my response might be very different from yours. In some ways that's reassuring because it could be that you have like a really challenging time on sertraline, for example, and whilst Prozac essentially performs the same function, it might have a quite a different response with you. So you might have like really severe side effects with one SSRI and struggle less on another. It's also useful that we know that genetics plays a role here. So if our parents, for example, had taken an SSRI before, we would be able to assume we would have a similar response that they did. So whether that was negative or positive, we might expect to follow a similar journey to them, seeing as we share half our DNA with them. This would allow you to cut out a little bit of the trial and error. For example, if your mother took Prozac and really struggled on that, but then switched to sertraline and found that much more beneficial, it makes sense that if your GP offers you Prozac, you talk about the fact that your mum had this experience and could you start with sertraline because you've seen the benefit in her. However, bear in mind, any SSRI is bound to have an unpleasant patch of side effects usually about two weeks with maybe some little bloody stragglers hanging on for a few weeks after that so give it some time you really want to give it that six to eight week period to kick in and then you know four to six weeks after that to really start to feel whether there are changes afoot but the point of this video is to suggest that if you really do struggle, like you just can't take that medication, it's making you feel absolutely rancid, you can't move, you feel sick all the time, that it might just be your body's response to that specific type of antidepressant. And it might be that that first few weeks on sertraline is, is really killer. And speaking to your GP, it might be that they're able to transition you onto say uh, Prozac or Paxil and see how your body responds to that. Your GP or prescribing doctor has spent a huge amount of time training to become medically qualified. They know what they're talking about. So this video hopefully has provided you a bit of clarity about why certain antidepressants might work over others and why you might want to take it in your power to negotiate the correct, not only dose, but type brand of antidepressants for you. My name is Alex. This was a happy change. I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.